All right, so the first video, I'm just going to show you guys these videos real quick, and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit about this. But we're talking about baggage fees. So baggage fees, the price of bags are going up, okay? And all the airlines are pretty much coming together, and they're raising the prices uh, of their bags. And it's unfortunate, but this, this happens. This, this happens. And so I'm going to show you one clip, and then I'll show you another clip. So one clip is going to talk about if you're checking a bag, and then, 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 then another clip I'm going to show you is going to talk about if you are uh, trying to bring extra bags on, on the plane, okay? because they're really cracking down on that. So let me show you the first one, and then we'll, we'll talk about the other one. Here we go. Just in time for spring break and effective immediately, American Airlines is charging more to check luggage. $35 for the first check bag if in advance paid online. $40 of paying at the airport, up from the current $30 baggage fee. The second checked bag will cost $45, a $5 increase. American is also charging more for checked bags to Canada and Mexico. But passengers can avoid the luggage fees if they hold elite status with American's loyalty program, buy a premium class ticket, or use an American-branded credit card. So this definitely can impact not only just the average consumer wallet, but it really hits home for families that are traveling with multiple bags. And there's another change. Starting on May 1st, American says customers will only earn frequent flyer points if they buy tickets directly from American or a preferred online travel agency. In an email to customers, American says when you book directly with American, you enjoy the best possible travel experience. To check or not to check has been the debate for years. We'd now like to welcome any travelers with carry-ons that have no chance of fitting in the overhead for compartment. <laughs> With many passengers packing everything into carry-ons. So will other airlines follow American in hiking luggage fees? Delta now charges $30 for the first bag. United charges $30 in advance. Alaska and JetBlue just raised their prices to $35. At Spirit, $44 is the cheapest fee, while bags still fly free on Southwest. The airline industry is a copycat industry where usually when you see one airline change a policy, you're likely to see other airlines do the same. As more and more passengers return to travel, airlines are really raking it in in terms of baggage fees and other fees. Okay, so Tom, you made a mention if you buy the more expensive ticket, you get the bags thrown in. Is that ever a good option for people? Listen, I think that everybody has to do the numbers and decide if it makes sense. Because keep in mind, airlines these days can and often do charge you more for leg room, for an aisle seat, a window seat, of course, for food, for, for your luggage, for, for Wi-Fi, all of that, right? Food and drinks. So you've got to decide at the end of the day, is it better to get a more expensive ticket where some of that is included? Or do you want to go with the cheapest, a la carte, if you will, and then keep adding on all the fees and... A lot of people on a budget, you know, they struggle with that. Yeah, that adds up. I was also concerned about the frequent flyer miles. So you don't get them if you book through another agency? That is what American is going to do, effective May 1st. They want you to book your ticket on their website. Otherwise, you won't get the frequent flyer points. Now, they are going to announce some a specified favorable or preferred travel outlet you can book through. But for the most part, they want you to book on their website. And if you don't, they're not going to give you the points. Sometimes the other ones are cheaper. Oh, I so you know. Go the cheapest. Exactly. Why? This makes me grouchy. Okay. Don't, <laughs> shoot don't shoot the messenger. Don't oh, shoot the messenger. Not your fault. They're going to start right. charging, like, do you want to smile from the flight attendant? $4.99. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. All Thank right. You. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Mr. Roker, what's going on in this world? Okay. For many I'm travelers show you the next trying one, to we'll... jet their way through the airport, the carry-on convenience is also becoming a bit of a conundrum with more than two items. I think it's definitely irritating because, like, sometimes you just have extra stuff. Passengers tired of ever-rising checked bag fees. We pay enough for our tickets, for all the other fees. Are getting to the gate with roller boards and bags and even pillows and packs and hitting roadblocks like this Southwest flyer. I could hear the gate agent saying that if you have a pillow or a blanket, 
that you need to condense it and put it inside of something because it's counted as a carry-on. Southwest Airlines, which does allow passengers two free checked bags, states on its website that personal items can include purses and cross body bags, briefcases, blankets, pillows, not including neck pillows, cameras, food containers, or laptops. Southwest telling NBC News, the crackdown referenced in recent reporting is in actuality a clarification of the already existing policy limiting customers to two items. American Airlines says it focuses on the number of carry-ons and have not made any changes to their policy. So why the apparent crunch on carry-ons? As we've seen check bag prices increase, it's no wonder that there are more bags trying to get fit in overhead bin space. And this can actually affect sort of the boarding process. Mere minutes can affect how many flights airlines can make, occasionally causing confrontation like in Meet the Parents. I'm sorry, sir, you're gonna have to check that. I got it. No, I'm sorry, that bag won't fit. We'll no, no, I'm not, hey, bag. I'm not checking my bag. And less dramatically, in real life too. Some budget airlines like Spirit and Frontier do charge flyers for a carry-on, while basic economy tickets on United or JetBlue are cheaper and allow for a personal item, but add a fee for a carry-on. The web of rules adding up with carry-ons now coming under the microscope. So Sam, what are some tips for people to get around the confusion around carry-ons? Sure, sure. So Chanel, a few things. First, if you're booking with a low cost carrier and you know you're going to bring on a carry-on, pay for it when you book. That is exactly when you're going to get the cheapest possible price for it. Check the size guidelines ahead of time. All of the airlines have their policies listed online so you're not surprised when you actually show up at the gate. And then volunteer to gate check your bag ahead of time. That way we're not doing this delicate dance that we all have before where are they going to take this from me? Are they not going to at least still be prepared walking in? And and there's no sleight of hand involved. I'm trying to get on board. <laughs> I think the Back pillow and the blanket thing is a bridge too far. I, I sort of get like people who come on with a bunch of bags yeah, right, that they right. call carry ons, but you've bought something at Hudson yeah. News and you got a bag and then yeah. you got your purse. Right, and they don't and give you blankets anymore, like they you don't mentioned. don't give you blankets. So. Yeah, I think there's. I think at the end of the day, people also feel like we're being nickel and dime to just, death yeah. by the airlines. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank. Okay, so. How do you get away from having to pay baggage fees? Okay, now there's one thing that they talked about in the first video that I showed you, and that is one of these. So I have United, so a travel credit card. I use United as well as I'm covering up the important parts, <laughs> the um, advantage of so the, the American Airlines. So I don't have a card for from uh, Delta but I have those two. And so in most situations, I'm flying either on United or American Airlines, or at least I'm flying through their partners. So when I book my airfare, it's going to be on American or it's going to be on United. And the benefit of using those cards is I will get a free checked bag. So I don't have to pay for checked bag. And in most situations, I think, I, I can't remember the exact number, but if I'm traveling with a family, uh, traveling with a family of four, I think, you, I get my bag checked plus there they get free check bags too. It's either three or four. I don't know the I can't remember the number, but it's very beneficial. Now with American Airlines, I believe I don't need to use the card to book my uh, flight, but if I have the card, then I still qualify. I think United, you actually have to use the card to book your flight. If you don't use the card to book your flight, then you're not going to get the free check bags. So that's one way, but there are other ways around this. And the, the, the crazy part about it is uh, you have to kind of be a little uh, creative because these airlines are not, um, how can I say this? They're, 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 they're trying to charge, they're trying to charge as many people as possible. Okay. And so one way around it, and I did my little illustration here, which I love doing illustrations. If you watch my other channel, you guys know I love these illustrations. So let's talk a little bit about this illustration here. So let's say you're in that situation where you need a checked bag. You just have too much stuff that you're traveling with. And so uh, most people, they'll say, okay, I have a checked bag. So they'll go ahead and, and claim that they have a checked bag and they'll have to pay. It's either $35, $40, whatever it is, okay? Um, what you can do is instead of bringing one big bag 
you can bring two carry-on pieces of luggage. And if you have a backpack, you can bring a backpack. Now what you do is you go through TSA checkpoint, and then when you get to the gate, then guess what? You go to the front and you tell them, hey, can you, can you check one of my bags? And they'll say, or you don't even say one, you shouldn't say one of my bags. Let me, let me start, let me start over. <laughs> you just go up to the, to the, the front gate or the, the, you know, the check-in and you say, hey, uh, can you check my bag? And they'll say, sure, we'll check your bag. We'll check your bag for free. We're not even going to charge you for that because they, they're trying to, they, they, they don't have enough space inside the plane for all the bags. And so you always hear that anytime you're getting ready to catch, you know, get on a flight, they'll say, you know, you're only allowed two items. If you have more than two items and you're going to have to have your bag checked, we will check your bag for free. This, this, that. They'll, they'll say that over and over again, right? And they're trying to get people to come and, and check their bags. So you can have one of those bags checked. Now, if you have one of those bags checked, now you only have one bag and a carry on. And so now you meet the requirement and you don't have to pay the extra $35. And you might say, well, $35, that's really not that expensive. Why should I go through all this hassle just to, to um, save $35? Well, that's $35 each way. So if you're flying out to New York, from LA to New York, you're gonna pay $35 on that way. And then on the way back, guess what? You gotta pay another $35. So it makes sense to bring two carry-on pieces of luggage and that way you can get away without having to, to pay this, this extra fee, okay? Um, so that's one way. And I mean, I guess if you really wanna do things, uh, and I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend this because then they would probably catch on to what you're doing, but if you have two pieces of, of uh, two carry-ons and you say, can you check both of them? Technically, I guess they could check it, but they'll, they'll realize they brought two pieces of carry-on luggage. Why would they bring two pieces of carry-on luggage? So I would just roll up there with one and say, hey, can you check my bag? Check the one. You can always take the other one and put it inside the plane. Or if they say, well, there's no room, you know, once you get to where you're getting in the plane, they say there's no more room. Okay, well, just let them check the bag. And then you'll just be left with your, your backpack. Okay, so you can, you can always do that. But, of course, if you're bringing two carry-on pieces of luggage, you got to make sure that those pieces of luggage don't have, you know, doesn't have anything in there that it shouldn't have, right? Um, so as far as the ounces and stuff, when it comes to your hygiene items and things like that, it has to meet that, that, um, that requirement there. So that's, that's a way around it. Um, and then another thing they were talking about too, is the, they were talking about like bringing a pillow and things like that. I don't know anything about that. I've never <laughs> brought a pillow. Uh, what I do bring is the little neck pillows so the little, you know, the neck pillows you wear around your, your neck. I bring one of those, but I have a, a different one. And maybe in a, a future live stream, I'll show you. But it's not really a pillow. It's, it's actually more of like a little, like a hinge. It like holds your head up. Um, it sounds weird, but it, it works. Or you can just like lean to the side and it'll, it will hold your head up. But if you have a pillow, the same thing. If they see that, they could say something about that. The best way around that, in my opinion is to go to one, and I know it's expensive inside the, the, um, the airport, but go to one of these stores, buy a snack or something, ask them for a bag. If they give you a bag, now you have a bag from the airport. Generally, if you have a bag from the airport, they're not going to really question you. So if you run into a, a situation where, let's say you have a backpack, so looking at this, you have a backpack, and you have a piece of carry-on luggage. So this one you check. So you have one piece of carry-on luggage in the back. You have two items. You're only allowed two items, right? You're allowed your, your, your luggage and then a personal item. So that's your personal item, your backpack. But let's say you have another little bag. They're, um, they're going to say, well, you can't bring that bag on because that's now a third item. But if you go to one of the snack bars, whatever they have at the, at the airport, and you purchase something, it doesn't even have to be anything big. It could be something really small. Buy some gum or, I mean, I, I like to chew gum when I'm on a plane because I don't want my ears uh, to pop. So buy some gum or buy something little and then ask them for a bag. And now you have a bag and guess what? You can put more stuff into that bag. So then you can walk in and 
you know, it depends. Like if it's a, one of the see-through bags, obviously they're going to be able to see what's in there. But a lot of the bags, they don't, they're not see-through, so they can't really see it. They're not too concerned with uh, is If they see that you have a bag, they know, okay, they probably have some food in there or something like that for the flight. So usually they're not going to make a, raise a big fuss about it. But it is something worth yeah, considering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just want to win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. Yeah. State your name. Bibbing dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pen.